All right, guys, we are back. And uh, first of all, first of all, guys, uh, happy weekend to you guys. And I want to send a shout out. I want to send a shout out to David the Monster Benavidez uh, because he has come to terms. He's come to grips, uh, I, I think, an epiphany that Canelo Alvarez uh, is not going to give him a shot at those undisputed titles. And it's not that he doesn't deserve it. I think, you know, he wholeheartedly deserves this shot. And I've been very vocal about how I feel about Canelo Alvarez ducking David Benavidez, his mandatory challenger, the two-time WBC uh, super middleweight champion. And I've been very vocal about how the WBC needs to strip Canelo Alvarez if he doesn't face David Benavidez. Uh, if he's not going to face... Uh, his mandatory challengers, the best competition, then he shouldn't have the titles. You know, he should be stripped just like every other fighter. He shouldn't get special privileges just because people see him as the face of boxing. It should be across the board, uh, fair for all fighters. And it's not fair for David not to get his shot. But I, I will applaud him for making the decision to uh, go up to 175. He's going to be facing uh, Alexander Vasek next uh, in June. I think he's going to be actually on Javante Tank Davis's undercard. You guys know Javante Tank Davis is facing off against Frank DeGos Martin. We're going to talk about that probably tomorrow. But uh, yeah, he's going to fight Alexander Vasek for the WBC interim title at 175. And the winner of that, of course, uh, can get a shot at the Better BF Dimitri Bivol fight that takes place on later this year. So uh, he has some big things ahead of him, and, and, I'm, and I'm happy for him. Now, I've heard David and his father talk about in the past that it's really not about the money for them. It's about the legacy. And I think that's why they wanted that Canelo Alvarez fight. You guys know he, he even talked about if he lost to Canelo, he would, you know, donate his purse. And that's mighty big of him to, to do that. And I do believe that it's about legacy for him. You know, it's not a lot of fighters like that right now. And David is one of them, and I know Crawford is one of them. It's, it's about legacy to them, uh, making these great accomplishments where some people, they just want to take the easy route. They want to take the easy fight. Uh, they want to just get the big money fight and, and not, you know, you know, step above, you know, what most people want. You know, it's... It's, it's about the money. You know, they want the money, but it's also about legacy. Solidifying your legacy in the sport of boxing. And that's something I can appreciate as a hardcore boxing fan. You know, I, I'm big on stuff like that. I know some of you guys aren't. You know, you're going to talk about people want paydays and all this. All fighters want paydays. What fighter doesn't want a payday? You know, Canelo Alvarez says that when he doesn't want to face a tough competitor. You know, he'll duck and dodge and swerve and say they need to be respectful. And my thing is, why does a guy who wants to challenge you for your titles need to be respectful? When, when do we start doing that? They don't have to be respectful. Jermel Charlo was disrespectful to you for years and you still gave him a shot. So what's the difference with David Benavidez? The only difference is... He's afraid of David Benavidez. That's the only difference. He fears David Benavidez. And let me read what David Benavidez had to say. I think he did an interview with Fresh and Fit. Uh, and he signed off on Canelo a little bit. He says, with Canelo, it's, it's that bull-ish. Oh, he needs to be respectful. I'm not going to bow my knee to nobody because I've earned my shot. And I have to absolutely agree with him. He earned his shot at Canelo Alvarez. He doesn't have to kiss Canelo Alvarez's ass and be respectful and humble. And I've seen in the past where David and his dad were pretty respectful to Canelo Alvarez. And Canelo still didn't want that smoke. He still didn't want that smoke. And he's never going to want that smoke because he, in his heart, I think he believes that David Benavidez is going to be too much for him. The, the, the volume punching... Uh, him being the younger guy, the bigger guy, the fresher guy. Uh, I don't think he think he can win. You know, all that talk of, you know, nobody beats his Canelo Alvarez, but you won't fight your mandatory challenger. But when Abney Yodurum was your mandatory challenger, you jumped at that. But this guy, he's an actual threat to your throne. So you're, you're not going to give him a shot at the titles. And 
I hear a lot of people say, and I also hear Canelo Alvarez say, you know, he can do he can do what he wants. And and I'll say it again, that's absolutely true. He can do what he wants, but there's always going to be an asterisk there. There's always going to be an asterisk by your name because the the biggest fight, arguably in boxing, that people have been talking about, you and David Benavidez, not happening. You know, people are going to question you. People are always going to say, well, Canelo ran from that fight. Not only some of the hardcore boxing fans, but your peers as well. Guys like Mike Tyson, you know, saying that you need to fight this guy. And, and you're, you know, running and ducking and dodging and making every excuse in the book not to face him. And, you know, people are starting to wake up. They're starting to see it. Even some of your fans are starting to see it. I'm a fan of yours, but I'm different because, you know, I'm going to speak out against biasness uh, and bullshit no matter if I support you or not. You know, I, I'm pretty clear on that on this channel. I will talk about fighters that I do actually like. And I do like Canelo Alvarez, but I don't like, you know, what he's doing here. You know, he's ducking and dodging and he's, you know, not giving David Benavidez the opportunity that he deserves. But anyway, like I said, I am happy for David. You know, he can go on and become an undisputed champion at 175. It's possible that he can do that. He's just that damn good. Uh, but I will say, you know, he does have his hands full against either Dimitri Bivol or uh, Ar Artur Beterbiev. Those guys are phenomenal as well. But I think there are some good fights. But anyway, uh, that's all I want to talk about, guys. Uh, you guys tell me what you think uh, about David Benavidez. You think he's making the right decision? Uh, instead of beating his head up against a, a brick wall and not, you know, getting an opportunity he deserves, just moving on with his career and doing what he does best. You guys let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.